start in Winter Haven again, where crews have recovered the second of those two planes that went down in a mid-air collision. That aircraft had been sitting at the bottom of Lake Harrington since Tuesday, Lake Hartridge, excuse me, and it was pulled out of the water late this afternoon. You see the wreckage there. The National Transportation Safety Board can now begin the next phase of its investigation. And they just gave us an update a short time ago. Fox 13's Ken Suarez joining us live again from Winter Haven with the latest. Ken? Well, I can tell you, Chris, as you know, the investigators have to look at all kinds of different pieces of evidence, but two very important pieces are what you were talking about, the planes involved in this, and they just retrieved one of those a short time ago. Now, even at this early stage of the investigation, they're beginning to piece together what appears to have happened. A little while ago, the second plane was recovered from Lake Hartridge. We're talking about the Piper Cub. It was the one carrying the two experienced flyers who took off from Jack Brown's seaplane base, not far from here. They were heading to Lake Jesse, a little northwest of here. Investigators spent hours retrieving it from the bottom of the lake, hauling it over to the dock, then using a massive crane to lift it gently onto a flatbed so investigators can eventually check it out in Jacksonville. They say part of the wing is still missing. A short time ago, a National Transportation Safety Board spokesperson explained what may have led up to the crash. The Piper Cherokee was making a left descending turn and came nose to nose with the cub, which attempted an evasive maneuver. We do not know what either pilot could see at this point in the investigation. It is too early to have that information. Now, as you may know, the Piper Cherokee was recovered yesterday. That one took off from Lakeland Linder International Airport with a 24-year-old flight instructor and her 19-year-old student on board. Now that both planes have been recovered, the real detail work begins. Investigators are going to be looking at the planes themselves, going over what people here in the neighborhood may have told them, may have witnessed. Big part of that is obviously looking at possible error on the part of the pilots themselves. Always a big part of the investigation, as it will be with this one. Chris? Hey, Ken, when we look at that wreckage there, you can just really get a sense of the impact that occurred in the air. And, and then you think about four families that are planning funerals right now. And we have to keep, yeah. have to keep them at the top of our thoughts and prayers this evening. Thanks, Ken.